Hello relatives, welcome to this week's Schlagbite entitled Magical Healing Weekend for the week November 5th, 2018. For a guy who loves to go fishing, it's been a long time since I felt a fish on a tight line. Six months ago at a Passover Seder, I made the decision to go to the promised land and fish with two old friends. We set an inviolable date to go fishing over the Halloween weekend, and last week we went up to Roosevelt Lake for some great bass fishing. My face wreathed in a perpetual smile. Before returning home, we decided to go to the San Carlos Apache Reservation, which is close by. It's a place that two of us had worked about 40 years ago and had not been back in at least 20 years. We both felt this nostalgic urge to return, and it was a decision that turned out to extend this magical weekend. The old hospital is boarded up behind chain-link fencing, as was the staff housing, but there's a brand new hospital administered directly by the tribe now with state-of-the-art equipment and specialists. Not a lot of people around. We spoke to some nurses in the cafeteria and asked about some families that we knew. And when I uh, mentioned some friends, one of them said uh, that uh, their family was holding a sunrise ceremony this very weekend. She wasn't sure it would still be going on, but the dance grounds were close by and we decided to go. The sunrise ceremony is one of the few Apache rituals that survived the government's suppression of Native American ceremonies until the Religious Freedoms Act in the late 70s. The sunrise ceremony is a four-day initiation that celebrates a young woman's coming of age. It's an intense and arduous ceremony, both physically and spiritually. And during the ceremony, the initiate actually becomes changing woman who survived the great flood in an abalone shell and gave birth to the Apache tribe. Changing woman enters the girl's body and ensures the perpetuation of the tribe, restores their strength, and she has the power to heal. We arrived just as the dancers were leaving, and the family was lining up to receive the congratulations of the community, and I felt a tug on my arm, and I look around and see my friend George, and we greet and schmooze, and then he stood in line with us and introduced us to his family. Changing woman in buckskin, her face painted with white clay and corn bollen, an abalone shell on her forehead, an exquisitely beaded necklace, and I felt the power of this story. I ask her to bless my heavy heart, and she reaches out her hands, and I take them and bring them to my chest, and I felt the same energetic jolt that I felt when the medicine man pulled the fire stick out of my chest at my Native American church healing ceremony last December. I happen to be sensitive, I mean really sensitive to these ways. They move me, but I want you to know that there are many ways, and they all open you to appreciating the awe and mystery of life. Find one that speaks to you. You can learn to do the healing dance if you're able to hear the music. Take a look at the pictures, and in these dark, and violent times, reach out and touch somebody lovingly. Say good morning to somebody you don't know. Stay connected. I wish you well. I send my blessings. I say this for all my relations. Metakwiasi.
Thank <laughs> you.